2-0. 2-0. Yeah, 2-0 yeah. piece. So Sniffle is it? That's a good thing. At least Sniffle, one of the, the Sniffle, youngster boys. Sniffle Big Mac in finals. I'm calling oh. it right now. I'm calling it right now. <laughs> what if we got Josh King, you know? Pulling some jank upsets. As our boy loves he to do, he is the, the jank master. Can you just, can you just imagine, imagine now, winner semis, game five. Last stock. Josh King versus Sniffle. Josh King versus, <laughs> no, Josh King versus Big Mac. This is where, this is where it gets oh, even no. spicier. It's Josh King versus Big Mac. It Josh King just takes out Big Mac's last stock, but he is living on his last stock at like 145. He gets the down throw into nine, just boom, ends out that set. Just at 30%. I can see it right now, dude. <laughs> and it'll be the hypest thing ever. Or I could be completely wrong and uh, Big Mac just 3 him, but. Yeah, I mean, you never know Big Mac. Big Mac is a really good player, but I feel like he's a uh, momentum based. And sometimes it just depends on what day he's having. If he's having a good day, then he'll have a good day here. Yeah, Big Mac on a, on a good day is ridiculous. It's scary. scary. Yeah. I don't want to face that man when he's having a good day. Dude. Put that man in bracket. Never <laughs> again. <laughs> uh, so we're going to have... Oh, uh, it's one the... of the Indianapolis people, no? Yeah. And let's see what their name is. What's his name? Force? Okay, Force. So we just got intel that his name is Force. There is a and I, Like I said, I think he's one of the Indianapolis people. Um, I'm not entirely sure. I know he's definitely not. I think he's a Bayo main as well, right? I think it's Gemini. Oh, Gemini was a Bayo. Gemini You're right. a Bayo, so... And that's not Tristan, or the other one, right? Because it's interesting. Yeah, the dice, dice, there's also dice strikes or whatever. We had a really good invasion last week, but it was because of uh, show no, me and Yeah, and we still have him. Like, that's good. Here, yeah, it's like, he's here. Uh, some other people are still here. But, all right, we're going to see. I think it's going to be an interesting set, actually. I'm, I'm actually going to, it doesn't seem, Excuse me. So Josh King isn't. He's by no means not. A, he's not a bad player you, you, at you all. You can't sleep on this man. Basically, you cannot. You cannot sleep on. Uh, you can't. You can't sleep on him. And his, I think that 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 tag kind of represents his play style. All of, all about that, Jake. But now now I'm kind of remembering this guy from last week. Yeah, Mark player, pretty solid Mark player. Uh, I think he's ranked over out there too, right? I think so. So this is going to be very interesting to see what Josh King can do here. Um, I know I've only seen like his plays really from uh, Raid, but when I know he's at Ignite, it's a whole different ball game. Um, but Josh King doing a really good job with those down throw combos. And of course, yeah. uh, rattling really well with Dancing Blade. Yeah, in order for Josh King to kind of steal this matchup up, he's got to know how to weave in and out of Marth's sword range, especially that tipper. So if he's able to do that, not get shield broken too, and he can make uh, take, take some sets here. So I really like, I just like that whole entire interaction that Josh King was doing is that he he was keeping everything. Oh my god, no. Oh my. <laughs> so his his edge game, literally that entire stock was, was damn near really, 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 yeah, it was really, really <laughs> well. You know, he was covering Gorsa's options and making sure that he wasn't touching, he wasn't, wasn't touching the stage like at all. And even, you know, Blew him off with a 2 2, nice. but uh, Boris rebuttling really, really well with the uh, tipper. Uh, yeah, Boris uh, scaring him with that shield break at the perfect distance to kind of shield break him, so it just lets go and gets hit by it. So, I mean, like, Boris wasn't even doing bad in that first stock, he just got janked. Mm -hmm. Because we all know Josh King at the ledge, not yeah, fun. <laughs> Well, like, I, I, I always think that, you know, Gaming Watch is, like, a really wonky character to even try to gimp. Because, like, there's just, like, a lot of tools and, and weird hitboxes that Gaming Watch kind of tosses out that no one really expects. Uh, that sometimes like, his frame data on certain moves is actually insanely insanely good. Which is ridiculous. But Vors, finally finding his Marth spacing here, kind of just, like, you know, tapping Josh King here and there. Keeping away from him as well, you know. Recognizing that, you know, Josh King's in the air, I uh, shouldn't challenge with a fair until I see what he can do. If Josh King gets just like one more hit right now and grabs him, he's dead. I don't know about dead, 
but... Hang in with 2-2. Two, two. Now with 2-2, two, two, you kind of have to know where they're going to be at. Like, or bait the air dodge. It doesn't look like Vorce is really going to just randomly air dodge. Nice. Fading back and recovering with the up B. Look at that. Micro spacing. Micro Perfect spacing. Perfect pivot. Yep. So beautiful. Oh. And this is anyone's you game right now. Ooh. Oh man, I was about to say, you know what, you know what I haven't seen Josh can do is down tilt. Read the roll with that up smash? There's not, not a lot of people know, but down tilt, send people. Yeah, and almost blew him away with that trampoline into Torch F smash. Ooh! That's it. Josh King going in deep. We talk, we're deep. Deeper oh than my, my student God. loans, boy. Okay. <laughs> Who are you? He's the edge lord right now. Oh my god. Oh, he's he feeling had, good. He Take off that jacket, touch in the blast zone. Uh-uh. Josh King out here is a fiend. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's some that's some good Smash Brothers right there. Yeah. I told you. I, this, this match is going to be good. Oh, we're switching to Fox here. Yeah, yeah. All right. We got the Fox switch. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. I, I mean, you said that he, he was playing Mars, so I, I don't didn't know he even had it. This, this guy had a Fox. Yeah, I mean that there. Was, I didn't really see anything wrong with the uh, with the Marth. I don't know why you'd switch to Fox. Maybe you know to rack up damage, but like when Fox is off stage, it's not good at all. And the thing is that Mr. Game and Watch is, is also very light character, and I'm very shocked that he didn't. He just kind of switched out because I know Marth does really well against Lodi's. So it's like, hmm, interesting. But we're gonna see what his Fox can do. Uh, yeah, those mechanics are not lost. Still able to perfect pivot around and just move very, very fluidly. Right, he's putting in a lot of pressure. Uh, more than he was putting on with the Marth, that's for sure. Jab, oh, Ooh, trying to get that knife. Trying to get into the judgment. And here you go, just force waiting, trying to get Josh King to bait into a move. Just literally walking around him. Oh my god. Ranch. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm just gonna up smash right here. It works. I'm telling you, man, he's doing a good job here. I, I think that was kind of like a situation where it was forced, like... It, it's gonna, like, it It was such a simplistic option that, like, people... You, you died because you thought too much of it. Yeah. Like, oh my god, is he gonna jump, or is he gonna grab you, this and that? It's like, no, he's gonna, he's gonna up smash, and you, because you didn't think of that that option, you just kind of died for it. Yeah, thinking that, uh, Vorst was gonna stay in shield there, and he's like, no, I'm not staying in shield. Here we go. And, uh... Here we go. Boris able to start lapping him out. Into there. No two two. Oh, I was waiting for an option to what Boris is gonna do, but oh, <laughs> just <laughs> karma. <laughs> it just up smash two times. There you go. It's gonna work. All right. Both of these characters up smash is kind of dumb. Ooh. Well, what's dumb is his move because it's invincible for a while. You literally have to respect it. That's Drill. True. Oh, that's gonna come in the up smash, but. Or it's too late on it. Uh, we're gonna see what he can do. But oh, he wow. reads the roll. And the up smash coming in for Boris. And you know what? That that Fox switch was actually pretty decent. Yeah, able to bring that Mars spacing in. But I mean, it's like he just has really good mechanics. So it's like, you know, I mean, the top tiers would probably be a good pick for him. So right. Good mechanics turn into good kills. Oh, Bayonetta. Oh. oh. All right, Joskin. Okay. Enough of the scares. Yeah, right? Okay. <laughs> he thought it. He thought it. He's like, nah, not today, not today. And we got the final final game on Final Destination. Ending with a flurry of kicks from Vorce to start off here. I'm really interested. Uh, I'm pretty sure Vorce's ban was just ban Lilat, obviously. But this is very interesting for Josh to kind of take Vorce, to even just take Fox and General to Final Destination. Well, I'm, my thinking is he didn't want to take him to Battlefield, obviously, because Fox. He didn't want to take him to Town and City because uh, Fox is really good on those platforms. He can just jump around there, get the bears and airs. He won on Smash, so, though. Why not just a very neutral and simple stage? It seems to be working out, uh, not working out yet, but I mean, Fox is just one of those players that uh, when he touches you, you can eat a lot of percent. Oh. Josh Josh oh, not another up smash. Uh, Josh can read that out and just rolls back out of the way. Yeah, he's gonna be um, very careful. So, okay. So this is kind of like a, this is like a weird spot that I, I think Josh King is kind of in, where 
he knows that if he were to get any sort of opening, he can kind of close out the stock, but he also knows that if he gets in oh my God. too much... Missing the ledge trump and paying for it. I'll tell you! I'll tell you, I can see this! Yeah, he's, he saw that Boris is just doing a bunch of back airs and unsafe nice. decisions, so... Why not counter him with an unbeatable- Oh, oh my god! Oh, smash. oh that would've been really nice if he actually like calculated the back air to hit in that. That would've been a lot of pressure. That would've um, been... A lot of damage. Right. So now Josh can kinda have to work. He knows that pretty much anything that Fox Santa does right now is gonna be to get ended So he's gonna try to rack up as much damage as he can to get this extra credit in. Yeah, good job uh, baiting that drill. Oh my god, that P-Shield. Good tech. Or, oh, oh doesn't again. get the second tech. So one game and watch launches himself up uh, with his up B. That kind of has his active hitbox around him. A dumb active hitbox. Dumb active hitbox. And there's actually one on startup from the.